Hi guys, you are watching channel Mr. Electron. The video today is on topic if we can make electric generators from water pumps. Now this what you see is a water pump used in water purifiers. Reverse osmosis RO pumps. Okay. So here I am opening it up with my cordless drill machine which you can buy from Banggood's link for that has been provided in the description if you have such a damaged pump at home and you haven't thrown it already then you are lucky others can find it from scrapyard as I did so yeah as you can see that the plastic head with inflow and outflow has been taken out along with the base stand of the pump now comes the removal of the pump head so you have to hammer it and then the motor is separated from the water pump you see this is the shaft and that's the motor and this is the bearing with some wobbly mechanism okay let's clean it up yeah and now it looks much better and shiny it's running smooth the motor and it has black and red wire let's open up the motor to see what kind of motor is it DC or AC okay opening the head wow it's very nice beautiful you can see the commutator and the armature along with the brush setup this means that it is a DC motor for sure and guys the armature commutator and bearings are pretty smooth and shiny although it was not that much good looking from outside but it is as good as new from inside so that's the armature now comes the field magnets you see big concave magnets have been used two poles so it's a permanent magnet DC motor you can see the field is still pretty strong although more number of tones could be added on the armature to increase the pole strength but anyways let's try this as motor and generator and place it all back in its place Now guys this is a dual size aluminum pulley you can see screws have been provided to tighten up the shaft and it is an 8 mm pulley link for this has been provided in the description you can check that out and uh, if you want to buy it you can go to the link in the description you can tighten it with the allen keys that have already been provided to you with this pulley and you can see that this pulley fits perfectly to the RO motor shaft okay so here guys I have placed the motor on the vice to test it in the generating mode first now these are the two jumper cables 
Now guys, to the wires coming out from the motor, I have connected jumper cables. You see this light, it is a 12 volts, 1 ampere light, meaning 12 volts. So I am connecting this light bulb to this RO water purifier, water pump motor. Okay, so let's wound the thread and see if it glows the bulb. And you can see that it is glowing bright enough. Let's turn off the light and try again. And you can see it is much brighter now. Now let's test the voltage rating of this generator. I mean how much uh, volts is it generating under hand rotation and after that rope rotation. Hand rotation voltage is very low. Let's test the rope rotation. Okay. Guys, as you saw that the output voltage was as high as 60 volts DC. Gain. And now guys, as you saw that the voltage went beyond 100 volts. Guys, let's measure the current now. Pointing the meter towards 10 amperes current mode and winding the thread. And you can see that the current rating was around 1.79 amperes. Try two second try. You can see it is 2.60 amps max I could try. Now guys, this is the, the mini UPS that I made uh, in my last uh, in my previous video so uh, it also has a 12 volts DC output with which I'm going to run this motor first okay you can see that it is uh, running the motor and uh, hands proving that the motor is a DC motor again now this is a 220 volts socket I'm going to use the multimeter and the DC motor speed controller to run this motor at high speed with very high voltage 230 volts AC and then convert it to DC obviously with the help of a bridge rectifier and I'm also going to connect a multimeter in parallel to the DC motor to measure the voltage at the same time when I have connected the terminals of the motor to the home socket supply now this is the knob controlling knob and uh, the terminals from the jumper cable have been connected to the DC socket of the controller now let's turn it on you can see that the motor has started running at a very high speed and the voltage is being displayed and as you can see that the voltage is crossing 1500 or even 1600 volts that is because of the inductance in the coils of the armature of the DC motor the motor is running very very fast obviously it is not designed to operate at such a high voltage guys so guys let me know in the comment section if it is a good idea to use pump motors as high speed and very powerful motors and generators and other projects that we can make with it plus don't forget to subscribe my channel for videos that I will upload in the future